Talk about election deniers. Here's 150 examples of Democrats denying election results. Oh wow, look at this. This is from this is from uh, Joe Biden's press secretary. Reminder: Brian Kemp stole the gubernatorial election from Georgians and Stacey Abrams. The Democrat saying that is that an election denier? Oh, look at this. Just heard Republican Ryan Costello said it would be difficult for Stacey Abrams to win because she lost her state bid, but yet she's still claiming she never lost. This is outright Hillary Clinton. Trump is an illegitimate president. Is she an election denier? With upcoming elections comes a ramping up of rhetoric around how those elections will be administered. And that conversation has never been more intense than it is in 2022. Carrie Lake, who is gunning to be Arizona's next governor, had her version of receipts when asked whether she is an election denier, saying that if she is, what then are Stacey Abrams and Hillary Clinton? And look, I'll be honest, these receipts are pretty compelling. Republicans have now figured out how to skirt the issue of election integrity after years of making nonsensical claims about voter fraud that no one really believed. And on the left, we really need to wake up to these new tactics and push back. See, it used to be that GOP loonies would say crazy things about our election systems that just were not true. A favorite being this point Marco Rubio makes about why we should abolish drop boxes. That's a method of voting that doesn't advantage one group or another. There's danger involved in drop boxes. People need to think about it. Okay, imagine someone decides, oh, there's a drop box. I'm just going to put some explosive in it and blow it up and burn all of those ballots, and now those votes don't count at all. Okay, there is, there is something... With elections, there are two things that are very important. Number one, the count has to be accurate. The votes have to be counted accurately. But the other is there has to be public confidence. The public has to believe that the elections were fair. But the story is now getting much darker. Ron DeSantis is arresting largely black voters in what he calls, quote, an attempt to crack down on illegal voting. And now there is footage. Dude, these, uh, I have never seen these charges before in my entire life. There's recorded footage of cops saying that they're completely blindsided about the char charges they're being pushed to investigate. Of the 19 people arrested already, 12 were registered as Democrats and at least 13 are black. And this is from a study by the Tampa Times. So some background here. In 2018, Florida voters overwhelmingly backed a referendum to restore voting rights to people convicted of felonies. They were given registration cards, but certain restrictions made it so that certain felons couldn't vote. So when they did, they were breaking the law. And now DeSantis is going after them and sending them back into prison for voting. It's truly dystopian, hellish vibes from the bottom up, locked up for voting. So despite Carrie Lake's stylish, camera-ready way of putting it, the Republicans' goal is to win in the midterms quite literally at any cost to our democracy. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.